Vivian, you were mentioning a couple things around the different users that are, are involved with Juni and how different people are proposing ideas. And so this sort of segues into one topic I wanted to make sure that we covered, which was around, I think one of the things that we've talked about in the past that I think is really fascinating is how you anchor decisions and direction to the end user. And that end user becomes the key anchor point to motivate your teams and to, to help them sustain momentum through different challenging times. And so I was wondering if you could share a little bit more about, you know, how do you use the end user to motivate your teams and how does this then empower your engineering teams to find different solutions? Is there like a story you could share related to that or, or dive into an example? Yeah, uh, it's a great question. Uh, let's see. So we have, I guess four constituent groups at Juni, you know, parents, students, instructors, as well as Juni internal stakeholders. Um, and so roughly in the past, we have had folks um, kind of matched to those different stakeholders because it helps them get a really deep understanding of who they're building for and then also get that buy-in. Um, the challenge with that is that if at a certain time you have a slightly different company goal, those those pods can kind of shift alongside company goals as well. So that's one of the things that has been interesting to, to sort out because, um, for example, instructor hiring and um, kind of, I guess, instructor um, tools, that's been to a certain extent easier for us to build because it's a, it's usually a fast follow on what we build for uh, the student or the parent facing tools. And so that team has not been a standalone team on its own necessarily because it's not the kind of like biggest opportunity for us to improve upon right now. And so um, the folks on that team have kind of been absorbed into the uh, more like internal stakeholder tools. Um, at the same time, the internal stakeholder tools, if you really think about it, those folks, their end end user is the parent or the student as well, because they're building tools to actually uh, facilitate a better experience for them. And so after those, uh, we, we kind of started with those four groups, but they've kind of merged a little bit into purely more around students and parents. I think at some point in time, we could peel out instructors again, but really the goal is always to make either the student or the parents experience on the platform much better. The parents are much more oriented around kind of like the utility of the service, like rescheduling their classes, seeing their student progress. And the kids are really there to increase their engagement on the platform and uh, spend more time. And so that orientation, I think, helps people understand both what their goals are from a metrics perspective, but then also their users so that, you know, when we do user research or when we're saying like, hey, who are we really building this for? That is a lot more clear. Um, for example, like a lot of very sophisticated um, design UX paradigms don't really work for kids. Like you kind of need to have a giant nav bar that just has everything in it for, for students because they want to access things as fast as possible versus for parents, actually simplicity is a lot, uh, is a lot better. Like they just want to see, you know, progress and then when the next session is and how to update their um, next, you know, schedule or something like that. And so it, it's been interesting actually to design and build for both because um, you know, products like Discord work super well for kids and they don't work very well for parents for a number of reasons. And um, that's, I think, been a really exciting way that folks can get a little more aligned with who they're building for. Um, we've been tinkering as well with having them focus more on specific goal company goals. Like think about it more of like an OKR model where the pods are structures, structured around, um, you know, OKRs. But um, TBD on, on that front, I think it'll probably be a combination of, of the two.